Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed that he does not fall. No temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will provide a way of escape also, so that you will be able to endure it. What's up, y'all? Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. It's been a little too long, unfortunately. Uh, a loud convenience and lots of convenience, I guess, work and all that. Um, get in the way of, of doing one of these. It takes a little bit longer to put one of these together than it does a fitness video. All I, go, all I have to do is go to the gym and film I don't mean going to the gym to do one of those and one of these actually takes research and um, a little bit of time so I mean it's been a while unfortunately as a result um, but yeah uh, God really helped me out with this one though because um, I didn't really have to do an insane amount of research to do this I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit shorter than the last few because um, well, well, the last two, because uh, I'm trying to keep the videos a little bit shorter, so that way it won't be as intimidating when you're, you know, a lot of people have busy schedules and all that, and I understand, you know, it's kind of hard to watch a long, drawn-out video, so I'll try to keep this short and sweet and straight to the point. Uh, subject I want to talk about today, something we all struggle with. Um, a lot of us don't really like to talk about this subject because, let's face it, it's it's difficult, and uh, like I said, we all struggle with it, and most of us fail uh, in the battle against it, and the subject I want to talk about today is temptation. Uh, you know, we, we're all tempted from, you know, one degree to another. Uh, any of y'all who have seen the introduction video, um, the main one, well, the first video we ever did, and then... I did one telling a little bit about myself, and Adam did one telling a little bit about himself. Uh, if you've seen those, then you know that I have some of the things I've gone through in my life and some of the things I've put myself through. If you have not seen those videos, I will put a link in the description box below for you all to view, make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I have a colorful past to say the least, and a lot of that involved giving into temptation and doing a lot of things that I should not do. Um, you know, uh, as far as temptation is concerned, it is, it is completely normal. Um, we all struggle with temptation. Um, but you know, we mustn't give in. Um, like the verse says, you know, well the verse is, the two verses say, you know, it's not anything that anyone else doesn't struggle with. But, you know, fortunately, God is a, a good God. He's a just God, and He will provide a way of escape along with that temptation. All you have to do is look for it. Um, there's a lot of temptations that I'm still trying to overcome, you know, right now. You, you know, a lot of, you'll hear testimonies sometimes about people getting saved, and then, you know, they're all saying, you know, like, oh, well, God just completely turned everything around for me. I have no temptations any longer, you know, took all my temptations away and all my, you know, I'm not addicted to this or I'm not addicted to that anymore. And, you know, as a result, you know, uh, you know, they don't say that life's, you know, just, you know, sunshine and roses and all that, but, you know, they do say that God completely set them free from some of their addictions. And for me, um, that wasn't necessarily the case. God definitely dampen put a damper on the desire for those things um i was more aware of of the damage they were causing um and i had a strong desire not to do those things but i'm not gonna lie and say it was easy i'm not gonna lie and say i didn't slip up on those things uh, you know a few times in the battle i'm not gonna lie and say that there's not one or two things you know that i'm still struggling with and that's kind of part of the reason why i wanted to talk to you all about this today um you know, that's it's where I actually got the idea for this subject from was because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm human. I, I'm struggling with some things myself right now. And so this, I feel like God brought this to me and it, it's helping me out. And so I want to help you all out in return. And um, 
you know, this may this may seem like an obvious question to some. For me, it wasn't quite so obvious. Um, you know, but the question I guess you would have to ask yourself is, in this struggle with temptation, who am I struggling against? You know, who is who is the instigator here? Is the instigator myself? Am I struggling with myself, or am I struggling against the devil? Um, and that brings me to the second verse I want to share with y'all. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. You know, the devil is the one who, who brought sin into the world initially. Yes, Eve sinned and therefore brought the sin to Adam's attention, and then Adam, of course, turned right around and sinned too as well. Yes, but the devil was the instigator, and the devil is still the instigator. So that we're, it's not against flesh and blood that we struggle, but against, you know, basically the devil himself and his demons. So try to keep that in mind when you're being tempted. You know, I used to always tell myself, oh, well, you know, it's me. I'm, there's something wrong with me, you know, mentally. You know, I'm not right. I can't get past this, and I should be able to get past this. What's wrong with me? And, you know, the reality of it is, like the, the first, first couple of verses say, um, you know, it's not, you don't struggle with anything that isn't common to man. And like this says, um, you know, our struggle isn't against ourselves, you know, per se, it's against the devil. Um, yes, there's Bible verses in the Bible talking about the nature of man being wicked and sinful as is. So then you take that into consideration and then consider, you know, the devil's playing a major part in that, you know, he's the one tempting you, putting these thoughts in your head, making it so difficult. Uh... You know, it's it's a it's a battle. It really is a battle, and you know, yes, it isn't a sword and shield battle. I almost wish it was. You know, I almost wish I was actually out there on a battlefield somewhere fighting because I feel like I would have more control over that. I mean, because when you think about it, who is the devil? Um, you know, what when you think about the devil, what do you picture? I'm sure, most of us picture just you know the general idea that comes in your head when you think about the devil is uh, horns and a pitchfork and a long tail with a point at the end or whatever you know it's like an upside down heart almost type thing um at the end i don't know i don't know why i'm describing his tail in detail but uh yeah hollywood paints a vivid picture of a very scary creature and um yeah in all honesty i would also i also would rather it be that way as well because uh, you know, if you're laying in your bed at night and your closet door slowly starts to creak and open and then this shadowy, creepy figure comes sneaking in and then crawls up next to your bed and whispers in your ear, Hey, hey, how about you go, how about you go do this? Let's go do this. Would you be like, oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Or would you freak out and take off running? See, the devil's not stupid. He's not that dumb. Uh... If it was like that, I don't think anybody would ever sin. People would be terrified and run away. Um, so no, that, that's not necessarily you know what the devil is. And uh, you know the Bible says that the devil presents himself as an angel of light. And be that as it may, believe it or not, the devil is also not that um, what I don't know ruggedly handsome character who acts all big and tough and bad, but is really sweet and innocent at heart, um, like they would predicting that ridiculous show Lucifer that's on now uh, I hate to break it to you that ain't that is not how he is either excuse my language uh, I'm trying to get better about my proper English skills but yeah um, yeah so that's pretty much it's pretty much how that goes uh, I almost lost my train of thought there uh, so yeah what do you what do you do about it you know um, the devil makes sin seem good. He's he's very intelligent. Um, he he described something that God told them was evil, and they had a relationship with God like we will never experience until we get to heaven. You know, imagine for in, for a second that you know where they were and what they were doing. They, it says they actually talked to God. Um, you know, so the God they know knew more personally than even we do right now. 
told them it was wrong and he was still able to convince them that it was okay. That's how clever and crafty the devil is. Um, so yeah, that's, it's really difficult. That's the hardest thing. And then once you let him get a stronghold, once you develop an addiction or a habit of doing these things that you're not supposed to be doing, then you know you fall into the habit of doing that and then it is insanely difficult so you know how do we how do we go about not doing those things you know how do we resist well that brings me to the third verse i want to share with y'all philippians 4:13 i can do all things through him who strengthens me so as you see here, it says that if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's not just a simple process, I'm sad to say. You, you know, I've, I have recited scripture in my head before when I've been tempted and ultimately being the weak man that I am, I have still ended up giving in to temptation before. So you have to, you have to really take this seriously. You have to really resist him. Um, you have to pray. You know, sometimes you know, like try to sing a. If you have temptations running in, running through your head, I you know thoughts that you don't want to be thinking. Think of a uh, a, a gospel song, a praise and worship song, and try to focus on singing that in your head or out loud or whatever. You know, try to really change your focus, put your focus on God, and that will tremendously help. Because I, I have good news for you. Um, and the best way I can think of to describe this would be the fourth and final Bible verse I would like to share with you all. And that Bible verse states, well, let me just tell you what the Bible verse, you know, let me just share the Bible verse with you. That would make it a little easier. Submit therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So you see, you know, by what that Bible verse says, it's, you know, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, even before I, even before God changed circumstances in my life to bring me back to Him, even before God allowed certain things to take place in my life to really bring me to a point to where I had to question why these things were happening to me and why I was where I was in life, um, even before those things, this was still my go-to Bible verse. Philippians 4.13 was still my go-to Bible verse. Because, um, you know, it's just, when I played football, uh, my first day ever at practice, my first day ever in pads, killed me. It was not what I was expecting. I hate cardio. If you watch any of our fitness videos I'm sure you've seen that or heard us talk about how much we hate cardio we do cardio because it's very beneficial but I've always hated it first day in pads wore me out because football is cardio 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 yes it's physical yes there's weightlifting but the cardio was killing me and you know I would just recite that Bible verse in my head over and over and over again whenever I'm like oh I can't do this oh, I'm gonna pass out you know I would just recite that Bible verse over and over and over and over again in my head and I could feel myself you know I, I, I had that extra push. I felt like I could push forward, you know, and if, if, if the Bible verse can help you with, with something, you know, like that, feeling like you're going to pass out, feeling like you're physically exhausted, mentally and spiritually, get, just give it a try. You know, just remind yourself when you're being tempted and you're like, oh, I can't do this. I can't overcome this. First off, resist the devil and he must flee. Secondly, if you think you can't, yes you can, because you can do all things through Christ who th strengthens you. And that's that's all I really wanted to share with y'all today. Uh, I hope this helps. Just know you're not alone. I'm right there with you. I'm fighting the fight. Right there with you. The devil's still tempting me every single day. It is a battle. It's going to be a battle. That battle will never go away. But we have each other. If you're not in a church that you feel at home in if you don't have that sense of, of family in the church you're in, I would invite you to really try and establish that relationship or find a church home where you do have that type of relationship. If you live in the Olive Branch, Memphis area, I would suggest, I would even suggest you could ch check out my church. I feel 
very much at home at my church. The pastor is a very godly man. He believes, you can tell when he speaks, he believes what he says. And that has truly helped me out, just knowing that there's other people there. There's people fighting the fight right along with me. I have a family in Christ, and they're right there fighting this fight right alongside me. Just don't ever think that you're alone. Keep fighting, keep pushing. God will be there with you. Your, your church family will be there with you. Your Christian family will be there with you. If you would like to contact me, um, our cousin brothers, you can look us up on Instagram. Something messed up on my camera, so yeah. Now we have dogs barking in the background. But wrapping it up, I would like to thank you all for watching. Um, like I said, you can look us up on Instagram. I would be happy to answer any questions you may have. Adam would be happy to answer any questions. Um, if there's if, if there's a question we can't answer, we will be more than happy to direct you to our pastor. Um, you know, um, so. Hope you all have a great day. Uh, thank you for watching, and God bless.